example, my sister, she uh, used part of her savings and she splurged on this name brand white button down shirt for her job interview. And afterward, while she was drinking coffee, she accidentally spilled on her white top. So she panicked and she went home. She threw it in the washing machine. She added a bunch of bleach, thinking that would make it go away. But instead, the stain just spread and uh, the shirt was ruined. So she just wasted a lot of money on a top that she barely got to wear, all because she um, didn't think of removing the stain first before washing, uh, before doing the laundry. Um, my sister is not the only one. According to David um, Zabowski from Boston University, um, one of the biggest problems he sees from college students is that they don't know how to do laundry, and um, he sees loads of damaged clothes because of that. So today I will be demonstrating how to remove your clothing stain. First, I will demonstrate how to read the clothing label. Second, I will demonstrate how to get the materials you need. And third, I will demonstrate how to remove stain uh, using these materials. So first, I will demonstrate how to read um, clothing label. So fabrics like cotton, blends, um, polyester are the easiest to remove, which is good because most of our shirts are made of those fabrics. And if you don't know what your shirt is made of, you can always um, check the label from the inside. Like this one, there's going to be a little tag. Um, this one says 100% cotton on the first line, so you know that is safe. And some precautions, so if some labels read like dry clean only, then you don't want to like do anything yourself. You would just want to take it to the professional. And um, most like on stuff like suits or silks or like fur stuff. And another material is chiffon. You need to watch out for it, especially in the coming up spring, summer um, clothes. You'll see a lot of this kind of fabric. This also, if you have a stain, you don't want to do it yourself because it's already really um, thin and fragile. Um, so next, I will show you what materials you can use for this. And um, actually, I don't recommend using like bleach pens like this, even though a lot of people I know see it on the advertisement. Just because this bleach pen has already like high concentrated bleach and it will easily thin out your um, fabric, especially if you're not familiar with using this. So today we'll be using um, just regular baking soda. If you don't have baking soda, you can always use salt as an alternative. Um, this is really good for like fruit, I mean for like wine stains or coffee stains. And another thing you can use that's great for um, food based stains are, is um, lemon. So because the lemon juice can saturate a lot of like organic substances and also the acid in here is a uh, like a natural bleach, and that's also safe to use. So um, you want to have a like a toothbrush so you can brush away the baking soda, and then you want to have paper towel to clean as you go, and then you want like a bucket of water. So now we'll demonstrate how to remove stain. First, um, we'll remove wine stain with baking soda, which is really like grape juice. So I'm going to get a little bit. Okay, so you see there's like a obvious like purple spot right here. And then, so you just take the, uh, the baking soda and you just pour it directly onto the spot. The amount you put on is about like, so um, you can cover up your spot. The, I mean, you can cover up the stain. So you get this like nice white layer on top of this. The whole point is that the baking soda will actually like sink into the liquid stain so it can like absorb the color pigment in here. And after you um, after you do that, you'll just like wait a little bit until like the white the top of the white powder is gone. So And um, after you see like the powders absorb into the liquid, all you have to do is um, just gently brush away the baking soda from the stain. And then 
Um, you can already see like the purple, the color is already gone because it's already um, absorbed, the pigment is already absorbed from the baking soda. And um, next step, you just have to rinse in cold water. Always rinse in cold water because um, the hot water, like the heat from the hot water, it will like um, make the stain actually like spread more and the color will stay on your fabric longer. Okay, so now you can see like where the purple spot used to be, it's pretty much gone. Um, well, under the light, you can see there's a slight like bluish um, color, but this will go up, go away once you just do laundry and like dry as usual. Um, so that's that. And next up, I will show you how to remove um, orange juice stain using lemon juice. So same thing, we'll get a little bit of stain. Um, a fresh cut lemon. Um, fresh one's always better because that's when the acidity level in here is the highest and so that way it can really um, take away the stain. So you just squeeze the lemon juice onto the stain. Um, the amount you want to squeeze on is also about like a little bit more than how much you spilled. Just like squeeze about that much onto here. and then you let it like sit, like sink into your fabric. And um, it doesn't look much like the baking soda effect. It just kind of looks like your stain kind of like spread almost. And then, um, so after that you just take this um, and then you also rinse in cold water. Um, it's best if you can rinse under the direct sunlight because the sunlight when the sunlight hits the acid, it will make the um, bleach effect like a little bit stronger than usual. Okay, so I just rinsed that part, and you can this one you can pretty much see like the stain is um, pretty much all gone. So, so after that. You, um, if you still want to wash your clothes, you can just like do laundry as usual and dry and this will be gone. Um, so today I demonstrated how to remove clothing stain. First, um, I demonstrated how to read your clothing label and decide if you can remove the stain yourself or not. Second, um, I showed you how to get some of the common household materials to remove the stain um, instead of like commercial bleach pens. And third, I showed you how to actually remove the stain with these um, materials. So next time, if you spill something onto your new shirt, um, there's no need to go to like a professional cleaner or spend money um, on like a new top. Since we're all on a tight budget, you just have to get like these few things that um, you can and remove um, the stain with a few steps. Thank you.